There it is. <laughs> you guys, I was pissed myself laughing. Cheers, you guys. Hi, you guys. I am Lisa, Chef Wannabe, because I want to be a chef someday. Someday. You guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining my show today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today, I am going to be doing a pan fry of cod, but it is frozen blue cod fillets. They're not frozen anymore, but there are three in there, you guys. Hubby is back on keto, and for some reason, he is not liking fish anymore. I don't know what's going on. He said it's the texture. So I'm gonna to try to crispy fry and hopefully it'll work. I don't know, we'll see. And I'll just have to feed him taco salad if it doesn't work out. <laughs> but anyway, and also on the side I have some meal curry and this is gonna be fast, you guys. I'm going to make an easy, easy coating for the fish. It's just gonna be egg and uh, mustard with some spices. I have celery salt, seasoning salt, onion powder, and pepper you guys that is it and i might top it off with a little bit of parsley just because you know you're supposed to make it make things look pretty for pictures and stuff hold on i'm gonna make the uh dip first so i'll put in two eggs almost out of eggs yes oh and here's my my new bowl you guys check this out yeah frida anyways it was made in mexico santa anita you guys i was there and i picked this up when i was there yes i did i did yes okay Trying not to get any shells in there. Oh, balls. I just put some in there when I did that. When I was checking for shells, I put shells in there. Right on, good job. Not that time, but I see leftover shell. There we go. Okay, and I need to wash my hand. Given to me by a friend named Carrie for Christmas. If you guys can see that, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's put some mustard in. Ew, just made a mess. So, I probably put about a tablespoon of mustard in there. Seasoning salt, maybe one eighth of a teaspoon. I don't want to put a whole lot of salt from anything. This is just onion powder, so. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say probably one eighth of a teaspoon for that too. Celery salt, my dad, you guys, used to love putting celery salt in any of his seafood, especially for salmon, yes. And of course, a pepper, you guys know me, I love spice, yes. So this neoguri, by the way, this is the seafood, seafood neoguri, yes. And handy dandy chopsticks, give that a really good whirl. whirl. down on low, 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 low. And then here I have some, this is brand new. I never used this before. It is uh, avocado oil. And it says the pan should be perpendicular to this. So it says only to use one spray, but you guys, I'm trying to fry here. Hello, hello. Anyway, not sponsored as usual. So Alessia, Alessia. I'm going to drag my fish through this concoction that I have created. You guys, I've never done this before. And honestly, I don't cook a lot of fish. Yes. But I do love cod. So let's see. That feels hot. Let's see. A lot of likes. ASMR. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And fish does not need a long time to cook, you guys. Once you see it starting to flake, it's done. Hey, my fingers are getting... I hope you guys can see that at least a, a little bit. Here we go. Number three going in. And number four is on the way. Yes. This, I think this is the biggest one. What do you mean you guys over? Put you right in the middle. There. When the fish is finished frying, I'm going to put it on here and then I'll put my noodles on there. And then we're going to have a taste test and see how I did. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, no, it's sticking. Oh, no. Come on. Don't stick. Don't. There we go. There. Yes. Good. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's move. One on the outside to the inside. Oops. Oh no, I'm breaking it all apart. There we go. That's a big piece of fish. There. 
There we go. Okay. You know who I feel like? I feel like Kimmy. I do. I really do. Okay. This is just about done, you guys. Just about done. And then, start on the noodles. Let's do another check. <gasps> Let's turn this down. Ah! Well. Let's turn it back on. I feel like I should turn it over one more time. Ow! Balls. Oh no. <gasps> okay, so we've got pieces broken off. Okay, let's go here. Here. Hold on. Let me just use this. Let's see what happens. This way. <gasps> yeah. Can this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful color. Look at that. Yes. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I think Hubby is going to like it. I'm so excited. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Clean, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Who is this? Star Wars. Star Wars. Who is that? Is he, um, is he, um, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, I don't want to watch Star Wars. I never have. Never have. Every time I start watching it, I'm like, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. Maybe when I'm retired and stuff, I'll do it. I don't know. Anyway, that's good enough, you guys. That is good enough. Good enough. Yeah. and I just beat myself up. There's a little bit of our flavorings left in the pot, so let's go. Okay, mm. ah. that should be enough. Okay, there is my beautiful fish, you guys. Oh, cod, I love it. Let's get that, turn it up. Yes, get it boiling. And it's boiling already, you guys. This little stove is awesome. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. And get our seasonings out. So we've got this, uh, I think it's seaweed, seaweed chive, and maybe some chili flakes in there. And then the soup base here. So let's get all of that in there. And recycle. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Should I put in here? There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll go. I should do a live one of these days. Do something like this, so that way it doesn't take too long to cook the food, and then I can snack on it and chat. Yes, I should do that. I think maybe um, on the Be Loves channel. Yes. Be Here we go. Oh, that is a couple chili flakes. Yes. Oh, recycle. way down now you guys that's pretty loud isn't it when it's going <laughs> okay there we go oh, i didn't show you guys my shirt my new shirt i got sucked in online again yes i did i'm gonna show you guys because it's so cute maybe you already saw it when i was getting up and stuff let me show you so cute here <laughs> isn't that just adorable totally 100 percent adorable oh my god look at the face oh <laughs> Yes. I'm not sure, but this might be my very first cat shirt. I think so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more now. Blows me away how fast this heats up. It's like instant fire, I love it. When hubby and I build our cabin, we're gonna be having, um, what is it, natural gas, natural gas for the kitchen, for my stove. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, I certainly am. I'm going to try for an open concept too so that I have like cupboards and stuff behind me and in front of me I'm going to have like an island where people can sit in front of me and watch me and I'll have a stove there and a sink and that's all I want you guys with like storage and stuff down below maybe a wine rack on the side and maybe like plants on the other side oh my gosh yeah and I'll, I'll sleep in there I don't even need a bedroom I'll just sleep right in the kitchen <laughs> oh my good times good times oh, that fish looks so good ah. 
So this parsley is actually all for my garden. I grow parsley every year in my garden, you guys, and I keep cutting it down as the summer goes, and I keep drying it, and I keep breaking it up after it dries, and throw it into a baggie, and I collect, 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 collect. And then when my actual container is empty, all the new stuff goes in. So this is actually my own from my own garden, you guys. Yes, it is. Okay, so I have to put this in a bowl because I can't mix it up with the fish because hubby will. <gasps> I'm on fire! I have this sweet, sweet container. I have a, I have a set, a white one, and this. What, what would you call that? Aqua green? Hospital green? Jailhouse green? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like one of those calming colors. Okay, give me a minute to do this. I'll be right back. Here we go, you guys. Simple pan-fried chicken in a little bit of avocado oil. Alicia, Alicia avocado oil, and some egg and spices, you guys, and mustard. Yes, and here I have the ogre, spicy seafood flavor, and a sprinkle parsley on the top of everything. Yes. <coughs> oh, that's spicy. <laughs> I know this piece broke off, so I'm gonna taste that first, you guys. Or do you wanna taste? Here, take a bite. Okay, now my turn. Mmm, mmm, mm. cod. Oh, yes. Mmm. Guys, I was raised on cod. I was raised in Newfoundland. I left there when I was 16 or 17. Yeah. And, uh, always loved it. Always loved seafood, you guys. There's very little that I will not eat when it comes to the ocean. Live stuff now? No. Can't do it. No way, man. That stuff's gotta be dead. Now, mind you, I'm supposed to be going ice fishing this year. You guys, I just picked up an ice fishing pole. Wait. Ice? Wait. Ice fishing pole. Ice fishing pole. Yes, I did. Yep. What else did I pick up? Oh, a little camping stove. Yes, this stove sits right on top of the propane canister. So now what I have to do, because I only have a long propane canister, like fat, fat ones, except for like the stove. I've got the longer ones, longer and skinny. But anyways, I need the short, short little fat ones like this. They're kind of rounded on the top and then flat on the bottom. And you just screw it right on there. You can actually screw it onto the bigger ones like that too. They're green usually, as far as I know they're green. Um, anyway, yeah, then whenever I go out, whatever, if there's no place where I can make a fire or anything like that, you guys, I have my stove. Yes. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh my. I love noodles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love noodles. Rah, rah, rah. Mmm. So good. It's got that seafood flavor in there. Mmm. Here we go. Mmm. It's tippy. You guys, look at this. Look what I have here. Yes, I picked this up. It is cast iron. That's gonna be my little dish, my drip dish. Yes! I thought it was gonna be bigger. I actually have different plans for it. I was gonna put like candies and stuff on top, make it cute, but now it's gonna help me with food. Yes. Just as a dripper though, not as an actual plate. Yeah. I'm supposed to wash my face now. Yeah. That was the perfect amount of water too. It's nice and saucy in there, you guys. Yum. I really think Hubby's gonna be happy with this fish. I really do. I'm so excited. Mmm. I haven't had noodles. For a while. Yes. One of my favorite things, and I've not had it for a while. Mm hmm. So, now that hubby is on keto, I may as well kind of be on it, but you guys don't love food too much to be on a diet like that. You know, I love pasta and rice and, and noodles and potatoes. Oh my god, I can't. And bread. It's hard. So I just try to eat less of it. Now less of everything while I'm going to lose a few pounds with my hubby. I'm already down four pounds, I think. 
I think he's down like seven pounds by now. He was six a couple days ago. So he's probably seven or eight pounds down now, you guys. It's so easy for guys to lose weight, hey? All their muscles and stuff, they burn a lot more calories and they need they need more calories than we do and stuff like that. So they burn a lot faster than us. Guys go on a diet for like two weeks, it's like 10 pounds down. You gotta be kidding me. It's just not fair. <laughs> Mm-mm. Well, this turned out to be really good, you guys. I really hope that you try the recipe. It's very simple, and you can pretty much do it with any kind of fish. Just remember, the thicker the fish, the longer it's going to have to cook, and don't turn your heat up too high, because uh, you will easily burn your fish. Um, <laughs> um, and normally, just watch the sides of your fish. If you have like salmon and stuff like that, just watch the sides. Um, I used to do prep cook at a restaurant called Montana's. And what we would do with our <clears throat> with our um, salmon is we'd make sure that it was thawed first. Then we would have, what was it called? It's the butter. It's the butter where you separate the, you warm up, you heat up the, the butter and then it separates. And that's what we would fry the salmon in. And then it would be on like a, a low medium heat. I don't remember the spices that we used on it because I don't I don't think we even put any spices on it because we did the prepping, so we pre-cooked it and then we handed it off to the guys in the front line and they would put the seasoning on it or the sauces or whatever it would be. And anyways, um, so what we would do is we, we would look, in order to judge how done the salmon was, you'd look up the side and you could see where the pink is, you know? And as the pink would be cooking, the darker pink color would turn into a lighter pink color. And then when it was roughly halfway up, you would turn it over and then do the other side. And then they would get us to put it in the oven for like five minutes. I'm not too sure why, but anyway, I would have I would have just pan fried it because it did a great job. Yeah, but it was their thing. That's the way they do it, so. But yeah, mm, salmon. It's just so good. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna save this for later on. Have with my husband. He'll have two pieces, and then I'll have my noodles and a piece of salmon. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you try my recipe, and I really hope that you enjoy it. Take care, you guys. Bye.